it's time to pack. Hey everyone, welcome. Hi, I'm Claire, Claire Freedom Stein, and I am packing for a trip for two continents. We're going to South Africa, and then we are off to Southeast Asia. And I have watched so many packing videos, so I am thrilled to finally be doing my own. Okay, so let's talk bags. I have <laughs> this bag. This bag, I was looking for something on wheels. I'm gonna very quickly explain. I was recently diagnosed with um, arthritis. I have joint hypermobility. I have a backpack, which I will be using for carry-on, and I will show that to you later. But I didn't want a hard suitcase because I'm gonna be using buses, maybe trains, I'm gonna be using boats. And a hard case is bulky, it's non-flexible. Yeah, so I went with this. So this is the Pierre Cardin uh, duffel bag on wheels. I have packed it obviously, I'm gonna unpack it in front of you or repack. And I really like it, it's good on the movement. There is plenty of space. I like just the one big compartment, but there is plenty of pockets. And we will get to that as we go through the video. So as you're gonna see, I am a big, big fan of packing cubes. And actually I discovered that I like little bags, uh, <laughs> packing cubes. The thing is, when you've got a big bag like this, if I did not have packing cubes, it would be a jumble in 48 hours. And for my own, brain process this works best for me so let's start with some clothes so in this packing cube here i have my underwear and my swimwear so anyone who's a nervous disposition about women's underwear just block your ears but i've gone for two swim sets so i've got my top and bottoms here um, I actually love this set, very tropical, I'm going to be very happy. Um, disclosure, I'm 5 foot 4, I'm a size 18, I do not care about wearing a bikini on the beach. Nobody cares, okay, nobody, I warn you. And then I've gone for one sensible white. I love the idea of wearing white once you've got a tan, so that's why I've done it. I'm only taking two. When I've watched other packing videos, I'm seeing people take like four bikinis and this, and I'm like, for me, one dries, I wear the other one. Bras, I've got four bras here. I've got one sports one, very handy, no underwires, super comfy. And then I've got three regular ones, one white, one black, one strapless. So I'm covered for all eventualities. In terms of socks, I have four pairs because most of what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be in flip flops, I'm going to be in my hiking sandals. It's rare I'm going to need a pair of socks, although obviously there will be times I do. And then my pants, no one needs to see my pants, but I've gone for 14 pairs. So I think I've allowed four that I can get away with no washing for two weeks. Also, and again, these aren't flattering, but anytime you see me in a skirt, on this trip these are underneath okay <laughs> my thighs require protection so these are by jockey i love these nice neutral color i've got two pairs with me they go everywhere with me on my if you've seen me wearing skirts on my disney trip they're underneath Shh. <laughs> okay this packing cube which is about the same size as this one, I'd say. But in this one, I've got my PJs and I've got my tops. So I've gone for two sets of PJs, both shorts. This is an ombre set, which I love. This is actually from the next sale. So I've got ombre PJs. And then I've got my tropical print shorty PJs. Um, again, if you're sensitive about the women's body, just turn away but I am 44 and I'm at that lovely time in life where I can sweat 
at night I can so some people I've seen a lot of travel they just go oh I just wear a pair of leggings and a t-shirt or I just wear an old t-shirt I know I'm gonna need more than that it's just the way my body works this one is t-shirts so I have one two three four five six seven t-shirts none of them are my faves I've gone for basic colors and two are more fun and then I have one two three vest tops okay so strappy vest tops I just want to say with the fabrics of my t-shirts um, a couple of them they prove themselves to me in abundance in Costa Rica they are dry wicking and they keep you cool um, they keep you warm if you needed to and they dry super quick if you sweat so if you can find that material it's perfect the last one for clothes is the big one but I don't think I'm doing too bad if I've got one small one and one big one for everything so in here I've got I've got denim shorts I've got cycling shorts and I have beachy shorts whatever shorts they're just so comfy so I've gone for the three pairs of shorts I've got two pairs of leggings so these ones are a three-quarter legging and then i have a full length black legging in an athletic fabric again because it's going to help keep me cool as well as hot and i know you're thinking black leggings and you're going to tropical islands and you're going to africa trust me there are going to be activities where i'm like zip lining things like that and i need more coverage on my legs and just to protect my legs from mosquitoes and stuff we're going to talk about mosquitoes they think i'm a buffet they do all right i've got one long sleeve top again this one i wore in costa rica a lot it has um the reflective stripes if you were doing <coughs> excuse me if you were doing a night walk it has little reflective pieces in it it is warm when it needs to be cooling when it needs to be it's by Carrymore which I actually had seen that name before Carrymore do some athletic wear but I found this on Amazon I am a big Amazon person a big okay the next part in this packing cube is to be cultural i guess i am planning on visiting a lot of temples i have become obsessed with temples and southeast asia has thousands i don't think that's an exaggeration so for temple wear you need to be covering your knees and you need to be covering your shoulders it's just respect in that manner i have got my white linen shirt Linen is a wonderful, wonderful fabric that keeps you cool. And I wore this in a heat wave in New York and it was super hot. This really did keep me cool. We all know the virtues of linen. So that's gonna cover my shoulders. And then my bottom half, again, I wore these on New York. Go and watch my New York vlogs, people, because it's all there. But these trousers, they are super lightweight. They have little um, splits at the bottom they are stretchy <laughs> i can eat the street food <laughs> so nice and stretchy um and because black is the base color there's black in there and white so i can wear a lot of things with it also in mind for temples new york again new york if you saw this dress i'll try and put in a picture this covers from my shoulders all the way down to just above my ankles it's a perfect dress and i've just got a belt in there for that so i've got some temple alternatives the reason i love it so much is when you are taking photos against sort of a plain background or like stone for a temple this is going to stand out so much so i would like to not always be in leggings and a t-shirt and some days get nice photos this is the dress for that <laughs> okay we are almost done with clothing i'm just going to show you a couple of other items this is my strappy long 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 black 
jersey dress. This was actually part of the beachwear range with Next, but I have worn it everywhere, all over the world. And what I've discovered is I can dress it up, I can dress it down. It's super comfy. I don't get hot in it. So it's perfect for everything. I've got this flippy little dress, which I will be super comfy in walking around a city or wherever, I have no doubt, okay? And then for, we've got some extra temple outfits. This, I have this play suit, which is, it's strappy, but it's, um, but it's more like dungarees. See how floaty and light this is? <sighs> always, always comfy. I am all about comfort um, and it's super lightweight, but because it's strappy, I will need something underneath. So I have plain white t-shirt to go under that if I want to wear that or I will wear just the dungarees on their own. Hopefully you see all my clothing is designed light for comfort, for stretching, for accommodating all my curves and bumps of which I have many. And that is my clothing. Um, apart from this one, fairly cheap, but it works. It's a Rain Mac and it's a little Packer Mac Rain Mac. And I just got this in Sports Direct for not very much. And it worked in Costa Rica on the zip lines and it kept me dry. So I have faith in it. Just about moving away from clothing, but I do have this. It's gonna look ridiculous because my hair is up high, but okay. It's not a good representation. It's not, but beach or safari, and just general heat, you need a hat. So I've, I've got a hat. The, what I love about this hat, I got it in um, Accessorize actually. I got it a couple of years ago. And what I love about it, you can scrunch it. Everyone's going, oh, you can scrunch this one and it just goes back to shape. It's, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. Okay, now we're gonna talk about gear, if you like. Um, there is some toiletries in here and stuff. I'm just gonna talk about some gear though okay so mosquitoes and sun cream i'm realizing something is a <laughs> this apparently was on oh excuse me if i blind anyone so i have a headlamp and um, most places i know where i'm going to be staying and it's more like hotel than hostel but occasionally i won't be i never know where i might end up having a headlamp it's just a precaution, okay? It might be over the top, but I, I'm taking it as a precaution. Um, in this bag, in this drawstring bag, I have my sunspray, mosquito bands. Now this one was bought for me. I think it's a um, pulsing mosquito wristband. These ones, I got on Amazon and they are called Pestex bracelets. They are non-DEET. These have oils. This is citronella, lemongrass, peppermint and eucalyptus. So because they don't have actual chemicals in, I will be tying four at a time, you know, two to my wrist, two to my ankles. I, like I said, they think I'm a damn buffet. I'm sick to death with it. I'm doing everything I can this time. So I have those. On top of which, I have Pyramid Trek Ultra Mosquito Repellent. I've got four of these. I say four, I've got two full, two halves left over from Costa Rica. Also with sun care, coming back to it, I use a special one just for my face. I had some discoloration a few years ago. Now I don't scrim. I don't try and get away with regular sun cream. I buy a face one, this is factor 50. I'm not messing around, factor 50 all the way. The other thing I have for my room, this, it comes with its own case. This is by Wolf. This is a mosquito zapper. This is a lamp that you charge by USB, like so, and they are drawn to the light and then they get zapped. So this will be going in all of my rooms as well. I'm telling you, mosquitoes are no joke. And it's it's not life-threatening in most cases. Sometimes it is. It's not life-threatening. But for me, it genuinely, I just get covered and I'm so sick to death of it. So, okay. I've got two types of bags here. 
This is a day pack, this is a dry bag. Let me explain. So a day pack, it's just a small little backpack. But I have found one that packs away to this size. So if I fold it out, it's a backpack, a little backpack that folds away. Now this actually has side pockets, it has quite a few zip pockets actually, it's brilliant. I will put links to all of this down below, all this equipment. I'm, an, I'm just a, a worshipper of Amazon things, mainly because I don't like going shopping. Um, <laughs> but I will put the link to this for you. But I just love, where's it gone? There it is. I just love that it fits into this. So super simple to pack in this giant bag. This one is an ultra dry adventure 10 and I've had one before and the reason I'm not using it I can't find it okay I just can't find it so annoying but this I just you when you are doing activities at the beach or you are kayaking or paddle boarding or, or anything like that having a dry bag is so helpful it waterproofs your stuff so on those days you're gonna want this folds out to here comes with a strap and basically, I mean, it, it's big, it's big, but what you do is you fold it down. <laughs> She's got to learn. You fold it down and then you take the clips, you take the clips. <clears throat> okay, you take the clips. You clip it. It looks better when there's stuff in it, okay? Um, but your stuff is completely dry. Okay, it's brilliant. And it stops for, for even from sand. So anything flying about, you've got the strap, you can wear it across the back. It's great. Along the same lines, I have, I've got to take some of this out of the packaging, waterproof phone case. There are gonna be times, I do have a GoPro with me. There are gonna be times I wanna take um, a still photo so having a waterproof phone case is brilliant. Again, I had one of these. I can't find it. I do try and keep my stuff organized, but you can put this under the water and take photos and it does keep the water out, I promise. Another little handy thing. These kind of packs are for, these are collapsible water bottles. So they weigh absolutely nothing to take around. You fill them up, you go to water for the day. It has a little, carabiner on it so you can attach it to your backpack they were not expensive pack of four in nice bright colors can you see how repaired i'm being uv umbrella this has been in my um disney videos i got it on recommendations of a friend not only is it for the rain it is for the sun as well it reflects the heat away it ends up being five to ten degrees 10 degrees might be a bit much. It ends up being cooler under this umbrella, okay? So it, it's portable shade. <laughs> Where I'm going, this seems like a very good idea, so it's coming with me. Right, we're gonna talk towels, microfiber towels. So I've got two with me. I know, I know, it's overkill. One in a case like this, it folds away. This purple one, I've used over and over. It folds away into this case. Microfiber is very fast drying, does not retain smells, uh, shakes sand off it, lightweight. It just takes up so much less room than a big fluffy towel. And then I was in Decathlon and I saw this one. I get extra large. They work as blankets on the beach. If you can't find a sun lounge or whatever, they're great, okay? So why do I have two? I saw a vlog recently where a girl had gone for a elephant experience and the smell she had got so caked in my, you know, she had the shower, but the smell was everywhere and her towel was completely trashed. Um, and it made me think, you know, if a towel gets trashed, what are you gonna do? Okay, you could buy a towel, but I'd, I'd rather just have back up and again they are quick drying but if you have a room with no aircon or fan sometimes they don't dry quite as much as you'd like so I'm taking two microfiber towels 
snorkel gear. I know, isn't it a lovely natty green? <laughs> I am going to some of the most beautiful oceans in the world. Now, every boat company, every tour company has their own snorkel gear, but why am I taking my own? We live in a time of COVID and I don't care what they say about sterilizing equipment, never mind COVID. I don't like the thought of putting my mouth on a snorkel that has potentially had a hundred people have their mouth on it. I don't care what sanitization you use. So I, I'm taking my own. I just am, so that's just me. I just wanna talk about one more little bag. It is a bum bag, or if you're American, it's a fanny pack, okay? And I know all the kids are wearing them now, crossbody, or you're wearing them at the front, crossbody. Back in my day, we just wore them around our waist, okay? That's why it's down, fanny pack, bum bag, anyway, okay. This is Solo. Now, Solo is a brand by Christiane who runs the vlogging channel Backpacking Bananas. I'm not being paid. I just thought it was such a good idea. She wanted to design products that she would actually use that she couldn't find. So this bum bag has front pocket, main pocket, hidden back pocket. So if you are going out for the day and you're not taking much, you can simply fit ID and money in the back, what you want to protect, your main bits in here, and then the front. And I just thought it was a great idea. And it, it flattens to nothing. I mean, I could wear this under clothes. So I love this. I love the gray color. That is Solo. If it's, as I said, Solo by Christiane over on Backpacking Bananas. And there's probably a link on her channel. Right, a little thing that you may or may not think about. Again, Decathlon. This was just one of their bags. This is a pack away tote. Um, and when I saw it, I was like, this is so handy. So in Costa Rica, um, you need to do laundry on the road, I discovered. And what I would have really liked to have had was an actual designated laundry bag, if you like. And I was decathlon, I got this the other week and I was like, that's the perfect laundry bag. So it can be a laundry bag, it can be a beach bag, it can be a grocery bag if you just want to pick up a couple of bits. Having a bag with you is probably a really, really good idea. So this was nothing from Decathlon and it packs away to the teeny tiny that you saw. Okay, this little bag, we have a little hairbrush. I'm leaving my, whoop, leaving my big hairbrush at home. I've just got a little hairbrush. I've got some hair bands, hair grips, and a couple of bandanas that I tie, always tie around my hair. So that is my hair bubbles bag. This little one, there is gonna be a lot of little bags now. This one is face wipes and then these cloths. I've got two of them. Again, hygiene while one needs a wash. These are the, they are makeup remover cloths. However, I don't wear a lot of makeup. But these are so good at like exfoliating your face. They are super soft for a start. They just take everything off and I'm not bringing a face wash as such. These, you circulate on your face, it's as good as doing a proper um, face scrub. So I love them, I feel extra clean when I use them. I'm bringing two. I'll leave a link to them because they were recommended on so many vlogs as well. These little ones, I've got a couple of these. These are for your eyes. So they're like little finger puppet. I put my finger in the back. Little eye, eye. So I can just take off any makeup that I do have on more intently. But same scenario. So wipes and little face cloths, I'm keeping them separate. This one. Hi Stitch. <laughs> a little bit Disney. This is my wash bag. So in here, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna pull it all out, but I have toothbrush, toothpaste, razor, I have my shampoo from home, uh, my hair, you can see it's a frizzy mess. I need a certain type of shampoo. I tried shampoo bars before, it doesn't work for me. But I do have my conditioner bar in here, the solid bars, and it comes in its own little soap dish. I have my body wash, face serum, moisturizer, and my body um, scrubber. There's loofah, body loofah, body scrubber, I can't be without it. Deodorant and spare razor head. So that is what is in my wash kit. Is first aid supplies. Now, <laughs> your girl 
has a host of issues, all right? I am prone to things. Um, but in here, I have put, I've got masks. These are the um, paper ones. These are cloth ones, all washed, ready to go. You never know when you're gonna need a mask. Rules change all the time, or just for you so you feel better. I have blister plasters. Holy moly, do I get blisters. I shouldn't, I mean, my shoes, which I will show you, been tried and tested now but I would never be without blister plasters I have in here ibuprofen I have some antibiotics I am prone to UTIs I'm very public and I'm sharing a lot here but I am so I have some antibiotics on standby if I can't access what I need I have my uh, tyrosine my allergy tablets I have to take one a day although I am better in foreign climates maybe I won't need to but I've got some allergy tablets I have caniston, commonly used to treat female thrush. You'd be surprised what this can treat. Let me tell you, I am prone to cold sores. This goes to work, I'm telling you. So, however, it's not a bad thing to have on hand, being a girl. I also have an antiseptic cream for burns and bites. They will happen and a cortisone cream. I know you're thinking, why have you got both? They're just a little bit different. So I, I wanted to be prepared, okay? I wanted to be prepared. Last thing in here, teeny tiny, my C bands. They're the wrong way. I, I just putting them on, okay? I have C bands. I plan on taking quite a few ferries, long tails between islands. I'm probably gonna need the C bands till I adjust, okay? Um, I am taking just a teeny tiny bit of makeup. So all I've put in here, this is this is nothing for me. Firstly, this little red tub is hair wax. The reason I'm taking hair wax, you see in the state of my frizz. So it's the only thing that controls it. Most of the time it's gonna be braided, it's gonna be in space buns, it's okay. But for my makeup kit, all I am taking is a powder, one eyeshadow palette, one lip gloss, mascara, eye pencil, and then a couple of brushes to apply it. That is all I'm taking. I wouldn't dream of wearing foundation and have it melting off. I can do my eyes and a little bit of lip. So just in case I feel like being fancy. Okay, the last thing, is it last thing? I mean, we haven't done hand luggage, but shoes. I just wanna show you shoes. So I will be wearing my Skechers trainers. They're super comfy, I love them. I've got one pair of flip-flops, okay, my Havianas, love my Havianas, and they've actually, they've got that gem detail, I know they look a bit tatty, but they've got that little gem detail, so they can be a little bit fancy. I have my Skechers walking sandals. These have not let me down. They are the only walking sandals to never give me a blister. On everyone's recommendations, I ordered um, Teavers. I tried Teavers. Let me tell you, Teavers ripped my feet to pieces. I was so disappointed they had to go in the bin. Uh, I have a pair of Toms. My feet don't like them. So, but Skechers, these, these I can walk miles and miles and miles and miles no problem and then i put in my beloved water shoes because i know that some of the islands there is rocks um there is jellyfish there is well do i really think water shoes are going to protect me from a jellyfish no but rocks they stop you slipping because they've got that tread water shoes um yeah they're coming they're coming so i've got this these this and my sneakers, that's it. My carry-on is, you're gonna go, what now? This is an actual travel backpack. <laughs> I promise I'm not overpacking, I'm not, I don't think I am. This is the Eagle Creek 40 litre. Again, backpacking bananas. Christiane used this and based on her recommendation, what's so great about this backpack is it folds out. It folds out. Oh, it, this, the reason I need this, it's my tech, okay? So I have all my batteries, cables, power packs, memory cards. This is like my, my organizer. This one is my GoPro kit. 
So I've got my GoPro, my handle, batteries for that. I've got my GoPro harness for my zip lining or for paddle boarding when I need to have my hands free. Harness for my GoPro. Noise cancelling headphones. Planes are a loud place. I've got gimbal for my smartphone. I have travel plugs. If you think this is excessive, let me tell you, I only have the ones I actually need. South Africa, even on universal adapters, it is a, you can't really see, to be fair. It is a three pronged chunky round one. It's bizarre. These are by a brand called Lenscent. Let me tell you why I love these plugs. Firstly, you've got four USB charging ports on the back, okay? Then these come down, which is uh, like an American standard. But what you do, this is so clever. Okay, you wanna change it? You have these attachments, so flip that up. Now it's British for USBs. I use these in my own house. These are absolutely brilliant. So I've got Asia, America, Europe, and the UK. So I've got two of these with me to charge everything I could possibly need to charge. Um, there will be other things in here like medications, passport. I'm gonna do another video on your last minute um, checklist documents and stuff. There's more to it than you'd think and travel insurance and vaccines and everything. But that is basically it. I have a lot to repack and forgive me as this is my first ever packing, unpacking video. What we'll do is we'll review this when I get back from this trip and we'll see how much of it I actually used and how much I didn't. And next time I go on a trip, I'll probably fling out half, but we'll know. So I hope you found all of that helpful. I will be repacking this nightmare into its uh, respective packing cubes. And I will see you really, really soon. I leave in four days, can't believe it, heading to South Africa first with Flying the Nest. If you know their travel channel, you'll know how excited I am. If you don't, do go check out their vlogs, but that's gonna be a South Africa group tour. And from there, the world is our oyster. I will see you really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give this a like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the adventures. And I will see you really soon.